You guys all asked for it. Your wish is my command. Today we are going to review all the old school harvesters out there. We have some uh, bad looking weather coming up, so we better skedaddle. This is Stevio, and this is a harvester review. What truck are we going to drive? Choices here. Man, them are tough choices. I think I'm going to go with the old school just because it fits. So we got the bin set up, we got the auger, everything ready to go. Now we just need to get all the stuff needed to harvest some corn. Yeah, it takes a lot of equipment. We got to get the grain carts, we got to get the trucks, we got to get the wagons. Look at all these beautiful items here. So this is our one harvester we own. We own this 4630 beautiful tractor with a 1682 pull type harvester with a giant three row John Deere corn head. Yep, yep, it is giant. Uh, it's the only real corn head that works with this. A lot of the corn heads, uh, they get uh, trapped up when you end up folding up the harvester. But, I don't know, does it, ooh, looks like we might be hitting a little bit of the roll coming up there. That might be a, we might have to get a bigger head for that. So we got a GMC uh, top kit truck here. And uh, one of my favorite grain carts, this uh, J&M, little 500 here, I believe. Maybe it's a 600 bushel grain cart on the field boss yep beautiful looking rig here another beautiful looking rig is this uh 4455 open station on a john deere 500 this thing is nostalgic there's a ton of these things running around and of course we got the steiger with the kinsey grain cart there's a lot of them old kinsey grain carts around there that's for sure, especially in the U.S. So now we gotta get all these items to the field, and then we gotta get to our harvesters. Man, do I love this field boss. I think this is the perfect setup for this uh, J&M grain cart. Don't have to really go that far, to be honest. I think we are probably, we're gonna end up harvesting this field right across the street. You can kind of see some of our harvesters over the cornfield if you could see up there on the horizon. Yes, yes, them are beautiful harvesters. We'll get to them real quick. Don't you worry about it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we could just run the grain carts across the road. We, we don't really have that far to go. I love this old smoking demon here. So I think that will work. We can uh, just uh, run the grain carts over here so they don't have to wait for the auger, even though this uh, Farm King, what is this, like a 12 inch, 10 inch auger, it's not gonna take too long. As you can see here, we have started to harvest already. Yeah, it's gonna take a while just doing uh, three rolls at a time. So I think, maybe, we should uh, look at some uh, other harvesters, don't you think? There's a lot to pay attention to when you're pulling a pull type. Definitely going to get some uh, neck strains, let's just say that. Beans, we got a dealership right across the street here. Perfect time to do a little review. So these are my favorite old school harvesters and farm sim. We got the L3 Gleaner. Hmm, man, that is a good looking Gleaner, don't you think? I've driven an L3 at Wheat Harvest one time, and it was actually a propane L3. Made some uh, harvesters that are still running today just to show how well they were made. 1670 here a hillside axle flow beautiful harvester here very well done mod beautiful interior look at all this stuff 
I mean, you can't get much better of this interior. A yield monitor in here. Hmm. Yep, just like you're in the cab in real life. Digging the diamond tread tires and the longer auger because you know the in-game harvester they give us just uh, wasn't cutting it. All right, one of the best old roller harvesters out there, the TR95 here. Great looking harvester. Uh, you still see a lot of guys running these harvesters in the field. Great interior for the most part. Could have did a little bit more work in here. That auger is tiny on this thing. What is that, like a four inch, five inch auger? Yeah, that would take some serious time offloading this thing. So we got a John Deere Turbo 7700, of course. Could have did a little bit more work in the interior. This is old iron at its best back in the day of what they make these in the 70s, I believe. You can't say old school without a John Deere 7700 in an 8820. This is the most, one of the most nostalgic harvesters out there ever made, in my opinion. Uh, when you think old iron harvesters, I think of the 8820. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, even if you don't like John Deere. And of course, the old sassy massies out there, they made a lot of good looking threshing machines back in the day. I've always uh, liked the Sassy Massey's grays and reds. In my opinion, one of the best looking harvesters out there. And of course, just like the John Deere's there, they put the engine off to the side of the cab so it was offset, which, uh, you know, was done by a lot of different uh, harvesters back in the day. If you could tell, even the case was slightly offset. You kind of almost sat in the middle, but it was slightly offset. Really, only one of the harvesters that came out like this was the Gleaner. I guess the case and the New Holland, you could see, was uh, straight up right above the pickup chute. I know this might be sort of old school or kind of on the fence of old new school here, but the 95 hundred harvester there is so many of these harvesters around in my opinion this is probably what uh grant's probably gonna buy i don't have no idea i haven't talked to him about what harvester he's looking at a ton of them though great mod somebody took a serious time making this mod the interior is great all the different options they put on the exterior of this uh, mod just makes it that much more realistic so this might be on the fence of old new school too this is uh, when uh, axle flows were uh, taking a leap ahead the 2388 yeah this might be a little bit too new school I have no idea so you might be asking where are you getting most of these mods I don't think one of these harvesters is private most of them can be found at the modnetwork.com if you're looking for them I can't leave out one of my favorite harvesters, and maybe I'm just a little bias here. R75, really, to be honest, the favorite numbered harvester I have is the R72. But they don't make that mod, so the R75 is going to have to do that harvester. And just the looks of it, even if you want to call it a lunchbox or not, intimidating. Another great new haul one harvester uh, I love the diamond tread rear tires on this just the openness on the engine and the rear of this thing and everything just makes it one of the most best looking mods out there so let's stop messing around with the little three row and get some real threshing machines in our cornfield here so now we have a tough decision which harvesters are we gonna use? We can't use them all. We gotta pick three. You gotta let me know what your favorite three of these, or if I missed one, 
of the most nostalgic old school. So I didn't go too old school here because you know we have, uh, you know, we go all the way back to capitalist harvesters back in the day. So maybe I'll have to do another video showing the old, old school, you know, where the horse drawn threshers, maybe that's a little bit too old. School. But this is when harvesters started taking leaps and bounds advances which ones which ones the 1670 it's hard because i love the 8820 but i'm gonna go just because i think it's a little bit better mod the 9500 in the tr 95 all right so we are harvesting around so you can't see the case but you can see the new holland right there don't know why he decided to cut that path we're doing the headlands right now of course i decided to sit in the john deere just because out of the three i think this is probably the best looking mod Maybe I'm just a little biased. Not that I like John Deere any more than the other ones, but uh, I can't say this is a bad looking mod. And I probably will try to jump in with the Case Harvester. We got in her. Case International. Here we go. Love this uh, corn head on this uh, harvester here. Case IH 8 Pro corn head. It's a little bit newer than this actual harvester. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Make sure, leave down in the comments, did I miss something? Did I uh, forget a harvester? Let me know. Thank you. Don't forget, like the video. Later, y'all.